On this second day of the road trip, there was a lot of driving on nice countryside roads. I did an unplanned stop at Lake Tåken, known for its rich bird life. This bird watching tower is located in Hov, on the eastern shore of the lake. There are three more places to access the lake, and one of them on the south side of the lake has a visitor center called Naturum Tåken, which is easy accessible and has exhibitions and a small souvenir shop. Ombari Nature Reserve and Echo Park is a high elevated area by the Lake Vetten. From the viewpoint Yes Sun, there is a nice view of the lake and the surrounding landscape. There are lots of other things to see around Ombari, but a bike race changed my plans. Other attractions in the vicinity are Villa Strand, built by writer LNK in 1911. It's open for guided tours. The Alvastra Monastery ruin, built in the 1140s and turned into a ruin after the reformation of the Swedish state religion in 1527. Another nature reserve with nice views by Lake Vetten, a kråkery just south of Omberg. I was just passing through the little nice town Gränna, but it's well worth a stop. Plus there are several things to see nearby, like Brahehus Castle Ruin and the island of Visingsö, accessible by a short ferry ride from Gränna with a car ferry.
I could not resist stopping at this little retro gas station. It first opened in 1938, but closed in 1967. It stood abandoned for 47 years until it was restored by a group of enthusiasts. It hasn't got any service, but it's a nice photo opportunity. The Forest Cemetery in Skillingaryd is one of its first kind in Sweden and opened in 1922, two years after its more well-known cousin in Stockholm, which is on UNESCO's World Heritage List. The tall bell tower, completely made out of wood, was built in 1930 and the chapel was completed in 1941. Stora Mosse is one of Sweden's 29 national parks. It's the largest marsh area in southern Sweden and has a visitor center plus plenty of hiking paths and a bird watching tower which even has a lift for wheelchair access. If you want to experience something different here they arrange guided hiking tours with snowshoes through the marsh during the summer months. <laughs> 